All right, thanks, Alicia. Looking out there tonight, temperatures won't be quite as cold. We've got a little blanket of clouds rolling in from the west right now. They will thicken up as we head into the late evening hours as a weather system approaches from the west. Now, this one actually moving a little bit faster than it was looking yesterday, so it's going to be here a little earlier, whereas the one behind it, they were kind of stacked together. It was moving a little bit slower, so that one's going to be here a little bit later. So we're increasing the pace of the first one, which could mean a few sprinkles tomorrow. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see any rain out of it. And then the next one is actually going to be delayed until around Saturday, but it also could bring some light rain to the region. Either way, watching both of them, we're going to see quite a bit more clouds as it rolls in for our Veterans Day tomorrow. So expect partly to mostly cloudy skies tomorrow. Temperatures won't be quite as chilly in the morning, but will still be cool if you're heading out early. 42 degrees expected at uh, 6 a.m. right around sunrise there. Lunchtime, upper 50s, partly cloudy skies, a little sun sneaking through and already cooling back down into the mid 50s by 5 p.m. tomorrow night. And here's a look at what those clouds will look like as we head into the overnight. They'll thicken up again as some of the low clouds get pushed in. We may see a little bit of drizzle and a few sprinkles tonight into tomorrow morning. And then throughout the day tomorrow, periods of high clouds passing through from the west. The model is showing a few radar echoes or future rain echoes, if you will. I don't think we'll see anything substantial tomorrow. If anything, just a couple sprinkles here or there. Uh, not really even enough to wet the roads. So we might get a little moisture out of this, but not much to be honest. And as we head into tomorrow night, we'll still see a few clouds lingering out there. Now temperatures tomorrow still somewhat cool. However, our lows will be a little bit warmer due to the clouds in the region. So most locations are going to be up about two to five degrees for your lows compared to what we saw this morning. And then maybe the difference between seeing frost like we did this morning and not seeing it, which many locations won't tomorrow. 40 overnight in Santa Cruz, back to 59 for your high. We will eke out some low 60s in the Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys. Campitola topping out around 59 tomorrow after a low of 41. Watsonville, you were again at the uh, freezing mark this morning, back to 38 tomorrow for your low, 61 for your high. Salinas back in the low 60s. San Juan Batista still pretty close to that freezing mark, though, so some patchy frost will be possible, but highs farther inland will be in the low 60s tomorrow. Staying in the upper 50s for your highs in uh, Marina, Seaside, Monterey tomorrow, but lows in the 40s, so a little bit warmer there. And then farther south, highs in the Salinas Valley back in the low 60s. But um, the clouds may take a little bit longer to get you in South County. So I've still got some 20s on the map in San Antonio Valley and Bradley tomorrow morning. So those areas, again, the southern Salinas Valley and the San Antonio Valley are under that frost advisory once again for tomorrow. Now over the next seven days, temperatures uh, staying fairly flat through Thursday. Then our highs on the coast will get a little bit warmer under partly cloudy skies. And whereas I had a weather system coming through on Friday morning, that has now moved to Saturday morning. So we've got a chance of rain. I don't think we're going to see much out of it, but some light showers early in the day Saturday uh, possible. Then we'll warm up and clear out of it Sunday and Monday and another system sometime midweek next week. We've got it on Tuesday right now, but we'll keep an eye on it for you. Inland areas also still a little chilly for this time of year for the next couple of days, but the lows will be warmer for the rest of the week. High temperatures also slowly warming. We're watching for a few light showers early Saturday and another chance of rain coming midweek next week.